Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. And this video we're going to uh, show you how to style the individual items in the Elementor tabs, accordion, and toggle widgets. As we know, uh, in Elementor, let just go over here, and uh, uh, you can uh, style these within Elementor, but of course those styles apply to uh, all the items, such as the background color, the text, and all that stuff. So there might be times uh, when you'd like to, uh, say, have a different color background for one tab and something else for another, and maybe on one tab... Uh, You'd like a background image and uh, do some stuff with the text overlaid. And that's what we're going to show you in this one. Uh, as you can see here, I have the, uh, the three items. Um, and I've just added uh, another copy of the text there and uh, three additional ones here just so we have some depth. And I've done that to uh, the accordion and also on the toggle. And that's basically all I've done uh, in Elementor. That's fairly basic stuff. So what we're going to see here tonight, or in this video, it is tonight where I'm doing it, uh, when I'm doing it, uh, is uh, how to change that uh, with some relatively simple CSS. So uh, let's go ahead and start. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste the CSS I have and then go through uh, what each one does. And I'm using uh, for the CSS, the uh, simple CSS by uh, Tom Osborne of Generate Press fame. And it's really handy and I think you guys should use it too. And there's a link on the uh, uh, Sniffle Valve page uh, for this video tutorial. Okay, so let's just go over here into Simple CSS. And the uh, first the block I'm going to post in there is for the tabs widget. And I'm going to do it all at once uh, and then go through what each one does. So I'm going to copy it here from my other monitor uh, and paste it in here. So this is for the tabs widget. And here we have uh, uh, the ID. Now I've given uh, the oh, I should have mentioned the only other thing I did in Elementor is uh, give uh, the uh, tab widget an ID, a CSS ID. Uh, if you don't do that, it's going to be uh, uh, anywhere this happens, you're going to get this. Uh, effect. So that's one thing you need to do uh, in all three of those. So we're just telling it to do a uh, background color of light blue and this one the light green and the data tab one, two, and three those correspond to the uh, tab items or the toggle items. Uh, the accordion uses a little bit different uh, selector here, uh, but we'll show you that then. And uh, this block of code at the bottom, uh, I just put this in uh, for something else, is to give you three columns of text in that tab, but then to uh, have it go back down to just one column below 768, so it shows up properly on mobile. So, well, what does this do? And then we'll come back to this guy, this full URL of image. This is for a background image. So I'm just going to save this CSS. And before we do that, let me just go right ahead over into the media file. And this is the one I use, this uh, nice Piper uh, Seneca. And to get the full URL, just simply double click in there or select all and then copy. 
control C come back over here into CSS and between the double quotes go paste and save so what did that do well let's refresh and see there we are so there is our light blue background there is our light green background and there is our Seneca background image with three columns of text and should we uh, narrow that down we can still it's three and there drops down to one column and like that so that's the uh, basically the tabs uh, what we're doing here we're saying we want no repeat and we want the background fixed and we want it to center the image so if you had uh, more text uh, that image would stay fixed as you scroll down and again the color is for the text and then the text shadow I applied and I increased the font size and it just applies to that tab let me just go show you here uh, where we put that so go into Elementor and you can see that's already there so we'll click on the tabs go to advanced and you can see that's where my tabs one the CSS ID goes and we'll do that uh, for the other ones there too. Uh, the next one of course is going to be the accordion. I'll just show you that. Uh, like I said I just added another item. Uh, added some more text. But here is the thing. My accordion. You can call it whatever you want. And I use the ID uh, mainly because it has a higher specificity. Uh, then in class and also because it shows up nicer in my uh, simple CSS syntax highlighter so and it works and that's the maiden thing and also just to show you with the toggle uh, that's the same idea here uh, my toggle yeah, you can call it whatever you like okay so basically what we're going to do then uh, is go back to simple CSS uh, we're going to give us a bit of a space here and we're going to go and grab the uh, CSS here for the accordion grabbing it from my other monitor which has it displayed in the notepad plus plus program and paste it in there and it's the same idea the only difference here is it's data section one two and three as opposed to data tab as it is for uh, the tabs widget and also the toggle widget uh, has the same uh, selector it's so that's really the only difference the only other thing we're going to need there is an is image for that so let's go grab a different image and I think I'm going to use this lovely King Air GTX so double click in there copy back there simple CSS come back down here and in between the double quotes we're going to paste it like that and same here is for the three columns so it looks good on mobile and let's go have a look at the front end let's go to the accordion and there we go there is our first one and accordion two and then accordion three and again uh, once we narrow that down it collapses into a single column on those and I think you get the idea there so last one on the list then is the toggle Add a couple spaces there and I'm going to go over and grab my uh, toggle CSS if I can get that out of the way there we go and paste that in there whoops about there not that one I guess I didn't get the uh, uh, my darn Camtasia thing was in the way it was giving me grief 
Let's try that again. All right. So there is the toggle widget. And again, it's data tab. So uh, tab and toggle are both data tab. Uh, accordion is data section. And again, if you're going to add another tab or accordion item or toggle item, uh, you'll have to uh, copy the appropriate block. Let's say if you don't want another one, this, and add it at the end and adjust this value accordingly. So if you were to add another one, uh, it'll be four, five, six, seven, and so on. So let's just save that. Uh, go over to the media, and what are we going to pop in there? Oh, let me see. Uh, how about this uh, nice citation? Jet. CJ1 or M2. We'll copy that. And come back over here to simple CSS. And down over here, and in between the double quotes, we'll go paste. And save and we'll come back here and we'll go see what the toggle looks like and there is the first one the second toggle and the third and of course uh, it collapses nicely on mobile so that's pretty much about it but let's just uh, for the heck of it uh, let's see which one should we do let's add another tab because it's right here on the top and that means I don't have to go scroll all the way to the bottom. A quick aside, Tom, please have that in your next update that, you know, if you're down here, it stays here. Anyways, okay, enough ranting. Uh, so uh, let's go back over here in tabs, uh, Elementor, and uh, let's go and add another item. And we're going to call it... Uh, uh, my new tab just so it's different and some tab content oh what are we going to put let's just copy that paste it a few times so we got some room and save so now if we go look on our tabs well we see we got one two three is nice but there's nothing there so well let's uh Oh, why don't let's use the same one as for tab two, uh, just to make it easier. And go back to the dashboard and simple CSS. So here's our uh, CSS for the second tab. So we'll just select that and copy it. And let's uh, just put that uh, before the uh, media query so they're kind of all together. So paste that. And now this will be four. So let's change that to four and save. So now the, my tab, the one I just added, should be the same as the second. So let's go see. Refresh. And there's two, three, and four. And that sort of thing. So that's pretty much about it. Um, uh, something a little handy to have once in a while to add a little bit of spice there to your tabs toggles and accordions uh, especially the background image uh, you can achieve something similar by you know creating a layout in Elementor and saving it to your library and pasting it in as a short code if you have Elementor Pro uh, or anywhere Elementor if you don't have Pro uh, but then um, it kind of limits you and your flexibility on what you can do with this is just another uh, alternative to uh, doing it that way so hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to subscribe to the uh, sniffle valve youtube channel and also here on the sniffle valve site and uh, the all the css and, and links uh, will be provided uh, on the page here on the Sniffle Valve site, and the link to which will be in the description of the video. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you again next time.